span of two hours. Come on, Chloe. Come on, Chloe. Minutes later, at 8.37, an Hispanic woman sitting reading a book on a bench outside of a restaurant. People were really frantic. The young lady that I just stayed about five minutes or ten minutes ago off the bus. Good girl, right Chloe. There, was Schools started keeping kids inside. You know, it's a sick mind. This obviously loves terrorizing society. I mean, it, it could be the new wave of terrorism. What better way to terrorize a neighborhood than to start killing people at random? in different places, all within a given, you know, area. This man just said that no way he's done to us. shoddy records that it couldn't even account for the assault rifle that the sniper used so they sued the store and they also sued the gun maker for continuing to sell its weapons to a store that it knew was operating in a shoddy way and in 2004 bushmaster the maker of the gun and also the store settled for 2.5 million dollars and how big of a deal was that Oh, it was a huge deal. It was the first time that a gun manufacturer had paid damages for negligence, resulting in the criminal use of a gun. And this opened the floodgates. Should get a ride? Other lawsuits. Right away, New York City brought suit, joined like 30 other cities and localities suing the gun industry. And the NRA was just apoplectic. So what does the NRA do? So the NRA views these lawsuits as an existential threat, and they say that they are going to be put out of business if they continue. Mm. And so they start pushing Congress for a law, and what they want is a law that will protect mm. them against these lawsuits, which they say are frivolous. They argue that this would be like the victims of a drunk driver suing the car manufacturer because the person who operated the car and so they put all their political muscle in Washington behind this effort to get this law passed. And what does Congress do? Democrats in Congress are still feeling the bruises from the 1994 election. Like, they don't want to have anything to do with gun control. Mm. So, in 2005, they passed PLACA. It wipes out all these lawsuits, including the New York City suit. And basically, it's a broad-based immunity for gun manufacturers and gun sellers. Are you telling me that it's impossible to sue a gun manufacturer? Well, not completely impossible. There are some exceptions. There were six of them in Plaka, And over the years, many people have been trying to get around Plaka using those exceptions. And among them is David Wheeler and the other Newtown families. So they find a lawyer, and in 2014, they sued. And I talked to that Show me your numbers and get a witness to indicate how much exercise you were doing packing your bags. And he told me about his strategy to get around the water. And what is that strategy? Laura will attest to the mile or so of our hike, and I have a video showing me going to the hike, period. The phone was in the glove box, period. I need an affidavit from Julia. So they focused on two exceptions. The first exception was something called negligent entrustment. And that's basically legalese for saying that if somebody 
gives or sells a gun very carelessly to a person posing a high risk of close but you lost misusing it that's negligent entrustment you're giving something to somebody in a negligent way the other exception they focus let me see it period how much mileage do you believe that was involved with packing your bags question mark was something called the predicate exemption I walked at least one mile with Laura and the poodles who are also willing to swear that I did so period and basically that meant that you could sue if the sale of the gun violated any law of the state in which it was sold so the lawyer for the family seized on Connecticut's unfair trade practices law and basically they waged a deception in marketing case they argued that the messages that Bushmaster used in its advertising like the man card thing were specifically designed to appeal to troubled young people like the shooter in the Newtown case the first strategy then is to go after the gun makers for knowingly selling guns to a person who might use them to harm someone. And the second strategy is to go after the gun makers for marketing. While you were packing your bags, question mark? 